welcome to this section on the history of the soviet union under the leadership of mikhail gorbachev mikhail gorbachev in 1985 became the leader of the ussr two policies glasnost the openness and restructuring perestroika were formulated by gorbachev to reform the soviet union so what are the two policies that were introduced by mikhail gorbachev in the year 1985 the two policies are glasnost and perestroika which means openness and restructuring of the soviet union they have the main objective to bring peace in the soviet union so mikhail gorbachev's main intention in bringing two major changes of policies is to bring peace in the union the political reforms he promoted democracy he withdrew the forces from afghanistan and eastern europe he withdrew the ussr troops from afghanistan region and eastern europe region and he also helped in the unification of germany later in 1989 when the berlin wall was broken down now coming to the financial improvements stop the arms race he made an attempt to promote the economic development of the union and he also promoted privatization so mikhail gorbachev was seriously determined to bring peace in the union of soviet socialist republics he want to promote democracy he withdrew the forces from afghanistan and eastern europe he also made and helped for the unification of east and western parts of germany he has tried to improve the financial position attempts to improve the economic sector promote privatization the dissolution of the soviet union as you can see the newspaper clipping here gorbachev the last soviet leader resigns united states recognizes republic's independence this is a newspaper clipping of december 26 1991 now gorbachev tried to reform the soviet union but his efforts were completely unsuccessful in the previous section we learned what did mikhail gorbachev try to do what are the policies he has brought the openness and the restructuring process to bring peace in the country but his efforts were completely unsuccessful those who wanted these reforms said that reforms are taking place very slowly and those who were opposing these reforms continue to oppose them there are two versions of mikhail gorbachev's reforms those who supported said it is going a very slow pace and those who opposed continue to oppose them because of this gorbachev did not get the support from anywhere neither the pro nor the opposing groups in 1989 the fall of the berlin wall marked the beginning of the disintegration of the soviet union by 1991 the soviet union had completely disintegrated what are the reasons of the dissolution of the soviet union one failure to fulfill the aspirations of the people dominant bureaucracy dominance of communist party heavy expenditure in the manufacturing of weapons lag behind 
when it comes to development with the western countries russian dominance fall in the economy feeling of freedom in the people and the immediate causes are like the emergence of a sense of freedom in the minds of people and to add on gorbachev's reforms like perestroika and glasnost so we can come to a conclusion it is because of the ussr focusing from the leadership of nikita khrushchev spending heavy amounts of money or heavy expenditure in manufacturing of weapons made them to divert from the main problems of ussr it brought them downwards in the economy it made the economy to fall and it made people to rethink what is that that is needed for them and when mikhail gorbachev introduced a sense of freedom in the minds of the people and he wanted to promote democracy most of the people welcomed it and started to hate or dislike the communist party the dominance of communist party so people when they wish for freedom no dictators no political parties ever in the history have survived or withstood against the wave of people's anger here ussr also serves as a classic one more example but the last leader of the ussr has made his efforts in restructuring and trying to improve the economy of the nation he also played an instrumental role in the collapse of the berlin war end of cold war and finally the downfall in communism in europe he was also been awarded a nobel peace prize in the year 1990 stay tuned we'll catch you in the next section